Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, Jeff and I woke up at the crack of dawn to come out to the urban scene and try and do some fishing for you guys. In today's video, it's gonna be something a little bit different than my past couple videos. We're not just gonna strap on a chest cam and go fishing. We're more going to break down what I'm fishing, how I'm fishing, and I have a couple baits today that I think are one and two when it comes to pond style fishing or just fishing swim baits in ponds or small lakes. So if you guys are ready, let's go out and try and catch some fish and I'm gonna break down on how I do it. So when I first pull up to a pond like this, the main thing I wanna try and do is just cover water. So the first bait I have on is of course the classic Tiny Clash. I have the short lip in and the V-tail and what I'm gonna do is just start cranking it around until I find the stuff that I specifically wanna fish. So I'm gonna fish this whole bank until I find a dock or a waterfall that I wanna pick apart. First cast. So here we have this spillway where this pond leads into the other pond. And fish love moving water. Maybe bait can get caught in that up against the wall. So what I'm gonna do, Go right up to the edge of it, cast really tight, and just slowly crank that TK right by there. It's a nice one. Oh. Wow. Just like that, first fish of the morning. Absolute stud on the Tiny Clash. So you guys can see, I was just slowly cranking that thing right next to that spillway up against the wall and that fish thumped it. Beautiful largemouth, one of the nicer ones I've caught out of here. Three something pounds probably. Awesome. Beautiful urban pond bass. That's why you wake up early, throw swim baits. So much fun. Let's get her out of here. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go finish this pond and catch some more. All right, so we just fished the first spot, which was like a nice little spillway waterfall area. Kept fishing, nothing really around up there. So we come down here and then on this bank, there's a nice stretch of docks. And I like fishing docks just because it's a more concentrated area. It, like if you fish the dock, if there's a fish there, you're most likely going to catch it. One of my favorite baits to fish around docks is the Tiny Clash, of course, just because you can dead walk it. And when you dead walk it, it gives it more time for the fish to eat it because it just sits there, kind of stays in that strike zone a little bit longer. If you try to fish this dock with a like glide or a crank, obviously it's gonna, it's gonna happen way too fast and you're not gonna give that fish a real chance to eat it. But with this thing, you can kind of just dead walk it and leave it in that zone for a longer time. You still filming? All right, so nothing on that first one, and then we just work, work them all down. Pray that there's one on one of these docks. Well, if you look around, there's, this is the only shade or actual structure that they have. So, so this pond doesn't get very deep, so if these fish want a break from the sun, they have to find some sort of shade, and obviously these docks are the only ones in this pond. So if you're if a body of water that you're fishing, let's say it's a pond or a lake, doesn't have very much structure, I would advise you to go to the only structure in the lake, whether it's docks or trees or whatever it may be. Oh my God. So I just had an absolute monster. So, 
As you guys may or may not have saw, I was just dead walking the tiny clash up along that dock and had an absolute monster come up. I guess just not get the hooks. Um, one thing that Jeff and I noticed when I was dead walking the bait, it seemed like fry, like bass fry, was getting spooked off by the tiny clash. And I think that fish probably just saw that and said, you gotta get out of here. Unfortunately, didn't get the hooks, which is tough because that was a really nice fish, but we're gonna keep going down. I think we'll catch some more. <laughs> That Is that a good sign? That's a good sign. That means there's bait in the water. Did you see that? Are there hooks on this thing, dude? Oh my god. Bro, I saw the fish come up and just, that's crazy. All right, well, wow. <laughs> Don't say anything, Jeff. <laughs> oh, dude, what the, dude. All right, I don't want you guys to worry. I'm gonna catch one right here. I mean, my God. All right. This is never really the size that you're hoping for, <laughs> especially when you just dumped like a five plus. But we don't complain when it comes to swim bait fish. <laughs> wow. It's funny how the little guys always seem to get hooked and then the big ones somehow don't. That's just hilarious. Oh. All right, so we caught one on a dock. <laughs> Wasn't the size we were looking for. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, they're not all going to be giants, guys. You're just going to have to accept that. Twin from the other one. Oh. It's the perfect size for these ponds. It's not too big, it's not too small, but a lot of these ponds here in Arizona have shad in them, which this thing, you know, it's not in a shad colorway, but it perfectly resembles a shad style. And you can crank it, you can dead walk it, you can fish it up high, you can fish it down low. So there's just so many different things you can do with the bait, and it's not too big to where it scares off those smaller fish. And it came off. It was a it was a tiny one, but it came off. <laughs> I'm taking bottom. I'm still on bottom. Something's not right. Yeah. There was a fish there. It comes off again. Isn't that sad? We look at this and think of cover. That's cover. <laughs> that is, that's fucking cover, all right. Bro, I'm telling you, when I caught that. All right, guys, I'm not, I'm not taking this seriously. Dude, it ripped the rod out of my hands. I, was, I wasn't even holding on to the rod. All right, so we just got done with the first spot. 
kind of having mixed emotions. We, we caught some nice fish, but we also dumped some nice fish. I think I went three for seven this morning on the tiny clash, which is pretty rare. I normally don't lose many fish when it comes to this bait, but I think just because the ones I did lose, the majority of the fish that I lost, they came cranking when I was hitting bottom. So I think this thing was ticking bottom and the fish kind of just came up to it, got it. But when this thing's on bottom, obviously the trebles aren't very exposed. So, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna run to the next spot now. All right, so we made it to the second pond. I just snagged the tiny clash. That thing's gone. First cast. Look, it's caught in it again. It's caught. Yes, and it's caught in the f***ing... Hold on. What do, do I go free spool? I don't know what to do. Wait, what is it called? Line? Is it out? Here it comes. Fish, keep it on. It's... Fish, keep it on. The, it, the fish is snagged. The fish is snagged. The fish is caught on line. The fish is caught on line. Fish, keep it on. I don't know what to do, Jeff. I don't know what to do. The fish is on line. Keep it, just keep it on. Just keep it down. <laughs> keep it on. I don't know. What, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Wait. No. Dude, no way. That was. So I don't even really know how to explain what happened. I, I made a cast. I had hooked all this line. And as I'm trying to get the bait unhooked, like shaking it, I guess a fish comes up and eats it. Of course, don't land the fish. I get my tiny clash back somehow, but this is just a, a common thing that happens when you fish urban ponds. There's just loads and loads of line. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. That's for sure line. <laughs> we fucking did it, baby! Clutched it out! <laughs> Beautiful bass on the tiny clash. So as you guys saw, I paralleled this dam, nothing. I paralleled the waterfall, nothing. I even made one out deep, nothing. And then I stood at the top of the waterfall, made a cast out deep, cranked it down, and dead walked that bait right into the water. And as soon as the bait got close to shore, this fish came up and crushed it. I mean, that was so textbook. So sick, man. Urban style bass fishing. How cool is that? All right, let's get ready. Dude, look how pretty that fish is. Beautiful urban largemouth. Fat. Healthy fish, man. That's a beautiful bass. There it is, absolute beautiful urban largemouth. I don't think it gets any more urban than that. Fishing line everywhere, trash everywhere, guys fishing, fishing on a concrete wall, just a gorgeous largemouth. We're gonna get her out of here. She's ready to go. This way?
well, a little bit smaller than the last one. I'd say. But I was just I was just cranking that one in, stopped it for a quick little dead walk detour, and this thing got it. Uh, like I said, boys, they're not all gonna be giants, but you gotta weed through the little ones sometimes to get that big one. Yeah, of course the small one gets hooked great. All right, let's let her go. How many fish is that today so far? Do you know? A limit? Five? Five bass limit. Five fish limit. See? Wow. That's three bites from this urban pond. That usually does not happen. That's crazy. Please go over that. Oh my I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Fish number six. That time I was just dead walking it next to uh, a nice fallen down tree. Next to some toolies. I wish I wish the bait kind of stayed where it was, but I mean that fish had the entire thing in its mouth. Unbelievable. High sun, no wind, another beautiful urban bass. That was sick. Beautiful urban swim bait eater. Going back. See you later, girl. Wow, six fish on the swim bait. Having an absolutely crazy day out here. I honestly did not expect to catch this many fish for this video. Um, we're gonna go around, maybe luck into another one. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I think that's where I'm gonna finish it. We fished three different ponds, caught fish in all three. I think I went six for 11 on bites, which on the urban scene down here in the south, that's pretty freaking good. So I'm happy about it. I'm going to quickly go over what I was catching those fish on and just the setup. This is the Obviously, DRT, Tiny Clash. I was just fishing it with the minnow lip or the short lip and the V-tail. I caught some fish cranking on it and I caught most of the fish dead walking. I can't explain to you guys how crucial the dead walk is for me personally. I've caught so many fish doing it that way. This is the Shimano Antares Monster Drive. Absolutely love this reel. Fishing 17 pound Sunline fluorocarbon on it. And then I'm just fishing a 710 medium heavy action rod. Great setup for this style bait. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.